Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is a bittersweet day. We are bringing 2021 Ducati V4S Street Fighter to the dealership to trade it in for my 2023 V4R. So let's go do my last ride on the Street Fighter and then my first ride on the V4R. We're on our last ride with the Street Fighter. I'll tell you what, guys, this has been a fantastic bike. It is so much fun on the track. It's so easy to ride. I know people have said it's an animal on the track, but as far as this goes, I felt it was really easy on the track. Yes, the bar is a little wide to so get a little weird head shake sometimes, but overall, it does street and track incredibly well. And in a way, I'm kind of sad to let it go. And obviously, I, I wanted to keep both, but I ain't balling like that hard, but uh, oh. As they progress in the years, maybe I'll add another one back because I really do like this naked bike, this platform. It's not too aggressive, but it's not too, you know, neutered and dull that it still has a lot of the character that I love from Ducati. Ugh. The exhaust note is going to be something on this because I'm not getting that exhaust with the V4R anytime soon. The thing's eight grand. Uh, <laughs> not rocking that for a minute but the thing still sounds amazing stock and oh guys i am very stoked to get back on a panigale something i've been wanting to do for the past three or four years so super happy but yeah we're headed on any moto to finish all this stuff up and yeah you'll see the rest of that not here to on any moto bam and uh this will be the last time you see this specific V4 Street Fighter on my channel. However, there are a few actually down here, so you will see another one, just not mine. Let's go see what we got. <laughs> Very excited. To get past the sea of bikes first. But. Finally, uh, the Panigale coming home again. It's been about four years since we have one. Now we get the beast of one. First ride on the brand new V4R. Sounds like nothing. And then, oh my God, that sound different. Ah. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh man, I haven't been on a bike like this in forever. I apologize for the blinding sun. <laughs> the, the mirror vibration is about as bad as it always has been in a Ducati, so they're not as useful as a Street Fighter. I have absolutely got to get used to this riding position again, as the Street Fighter is far, far less aggressive, but it's still relatively familiar. But right off the bat, listen to the difference between neutral, sounds like nothing, right? And then it's got that nice deep sound. Again, it's a stock exhaust, but God, does it sound good. So now I think we got some space. Let's go a little bit. The clutch feels a little heavier, uh, but not hard to really find the friction zone. The power, my God. It just is effortless. It is insane how well, how quickly this motor spins up. This is my first impression, mind you. We're not going anything crazy. We're just kind of getting a feel for And we're in sport mode, so the throttle response is kind of tame. And I will say it is twitchy, but in the fact it just wants to go. And to me, Ah, that's how Ducati, that's how Ducati is supposed to be. Oh my God, the transition, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, freaking buddy. That quick shifter is something else. All right, so this little spot here, 
It's always a quick little boop. Oh my god, it almost turned faster than I was expecting. <laughs> Let's head with the bassy nature of the low revs. Like, this sounds different. It just sounds so different than the V4S. That 1103 motor. This feels like a twin. Oh my god, yeah. It's so fast. Like, you're just going from from corner to corner and it just does it so crazy well stay on your side of the road awesome oh my god oil eh. and your tires don't need oil holy crap yeah that's nice i'm taking easy but just <laughs> Turn faster than I'm expecting. Oh, felt the track control kick on just then. Must have hit a little something gooey. Oh my god, it's so flow like you can just flow with this thing. I cannot wait to get the open clutch cover so I can hear that the bag of bolts rattling around in my broken Ducati. Everyone's gonna be like, your dude, your Ducati is broken. Oh my god. God, the power! Jesus! It, it's crazy how smooth the power delivery is. Because it is very smooth. Like, it's just a rush. I don't know, the bikes are nice. The brakes, oh, they're good. I got the feel of the Brembo's I have grown accustomed to. I can't wait to get some stomp grips on the uh, tank here. Stop from sliding. We're gonna get it wrapped. Again, satin, maybe gloss. I might want to see both. Oh man, that quick shifter is good. And again, it's out of the box. My V4S didn't have that same smoothness with the, the quick shifter. It actually took a little bit to get broken in Whew. wow so I know people are saying that it's a lot of low-end power or no low-end power you got to be in the revs uh, you can use the low end honestly but you absolutely have another animal once you get above six, seven grand. Like a totally other animal. Whew. There we go, first triple digits. <laughs> oh my God. It's so easy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming along on my first ride of this beautiful 2023 Ducati B4R. I'm so stoked to finally have a Panigale back in the stable. And stay tuned for a buttload of content.